for Alden in the English Channel, 24 hours a day on 107.1 and online. This is Key FM. The Sky News Centre at 10. The Prime Minister, Chancellor and the Bank of England Governor are holding an emergency meeting after Greek voters rejected any bailout deal. The result of yesterday's referendum raises the prospect of Athens potentially leaving the euro. The Greek Finance Minister, Yanis Varoufakis, dramatically quit this morning. Finance expert Charles Hall says that'll cheer the city. The Asian markets have been pretty calm overnight, down 1 or 2%. So there's no sense of panic in financial markets. But Mr. Varoufakis resigning makes it easier to come up with a compromise agreement and mean that actually the economics can now take over. Well, a short time ago, the FTSE was trading down 88 points. Ministers insist they're trying to make sure extra clinicians and advisors are available for people with dementia. The Saturday survey of GPs suggested male doctors don't think authorities are doing enough to help sufferers. The family of Alice Gross, whose body was found in a London canal in September, say the inquest into her murder should be widened to investigate what authorities knew about her killer. The crime suspect had previously been convicted of murder in Latvia. A record-breaking number of new cars are being sold in the UK. Figures show more than 1.3 million were bought in the first six months of the year, up 7% on the same period in 2014. Five huge black holes, previously hidden by clouds of dust and gas, have been uncovered by a British-led team of astronomers. The discovery suggests millions more could be similarly undetected. And in tennis, Sandy Murray says the British crowd can give him the edge in the second week of Wimbledon. When you can get the, the crowd involved in the match, it makes makes a huge difference to, to, to your performance, I think. Yes, the pressures are hard, but the crowd really, they really do make a, a big difference and they help a lot. After the traditional day of rest yesterday, the British number one resumes his campaign in the fifth round now against Ivo Karlovic. First on centre court, though, there's a meeting between Williams sisters Serena and Venus. That's the latest.